Hey, what's up guys? It's Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm finally, finally bringing you another tutorial. I've been really busy with clients lately, but I finally broke down and I'm getting around to making the third part of this tutorial. So, you know, I'm going to try and keep it as brief and as quick as possible. So, here we are, you know, back in Cinema 4D. Um, we need to go ahead and export this to uh, RealFlow now so we can get the chocolate started. So let's go ahead and delete everything in here except for the uh, berry itself. So we're going to leave this. Now go ahead and uh, hit C or come up here to uh, convert the object um, into an editable object. An editable object, excuse me. Um, obviously do not save because you'll save the uh, project where it's just buried and you don't want that. Um, so just go ahead, delete everything, convert it, and then we'll come up here to plugins, uh, real flow, real flow SD exporter, and then you'll see the berry here. Go ahead and click add, or add, there you go, and then select the area or select the location you want to export to. Alright, anyway, so go ahead and select the area you want to export to, the file location rather. Um, I'm not going to do that, I already have a project from when I did this previously, so I'll go ahead and see you guys over in RealFlow. Alright guys, so if it's the first time you're doing this, you're going to want to create a new project, okay? So fill out all this crap, hit create new project, and then uh, you may need to come up here to import and then import your mesh. Um, I already have this uh, project saved, so I'm just going to open it. And here is an old project I was working on. So it's fairly simple to set up. Um, once you import your mesh, you'll have your strawberry here. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to come up here. I just grabbed out a circle, and it's a particle emitter. And then I just uh, scaled it down. So, you know, I would grab this, uh, bring it up. Um, move it into the right position, obviously, um, and then go ahead, scale it however I need to, and that is that. Um, if, you want any, if you want to rotate around and stuff and look around, just hold down Alt and then you can drag and it'll move around for you. Um, zoom in and out, that's just the scroll wheel on your mouse. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at this circle here, the circle emitter. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set the vis viscosity to about 25. That's kind of like the thickness of it. Um, you don't want it all runny like water because obviously that doesn't look anything like chocolate. So you can go ahead and do that. That's one of the more important things to look at or mess with. Um, and so you'll just go ahead and hit simulate and run through it. I'm not going to do it because uh, it'll take a while and I already have all this stuff simulated and all that crap. So go ahead and run through it, do some tests. Um, one thing you can do is you can look at the statistics. And uh, once you run through it and you get the amount of particles that you want, or it's covered, or your strawberry rather, let me, let me try and explain this better. Go ahead and simulate. And then once you get to a point where it looks like your strawberry is covered really well, so like let's say right here, you would open up the statistics, um, see how many particles were emitted. So let's say, you know, a thousand particles were emitted. You would come up here to max particles, type in 1,000, and then once it has emitted 1,000 particles, it's going to stop emitting. So I have mine set at 900, so it's emitting, it's emitting, and then 900 particles, it stops emitting. Okay? So once you've done that, go ahead and come up here, click on Particle Mesh Render Kit. And I've already done all this, of course, and it automatically puts this circle in the particle mesh and then you'll come down right here and click on build mesh and then you'll run the simulation and that's pretty much that that's all that there is to it and then once you've done that you'll go back into Cinema 4D which we'll do now alright guys here I am back in uh, Cinema 4D now now as you know I already have a scene set up from uh, some previous testing I was doing. But uh, the way you get the strawberry or the chocolate into Cinema 4D is you go to plugins, you go to RealFlow, and then you go to SD Importer. Mine's right here. 
and then file path you'll open up the file location um, I'll go ahead and show you what mine looks like mine is located on the desktop so you know chocolate uh, strawberry chalk um, you would go into let's see what is it meshes I believe no it's not in meshes objects articles where in the world is it at Oh, you know what? It is in mes uh, meshes. I just have to hit all files. There we go. Okay, my mistake. Um, so once you've done that, you'll just click on the top one here and hit open, and there it is. Now, as as we know, um, all this stuff gets kind of laggy, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of these things so it's not so laggy, and so I can just kind of show you real quick. So there it is. Now, what I did was I just hit play and then I scrub through to a point where I liked it. I liked the way it looked at 40 and so there's that. Um, and then I just went ahead and made a new material and dragged it onto the particle mesh. Um, it's very simple. It's a reddish brown color and then I took the reflection and turned the brightness to 7 and I put a Fresnel on it and the mix strength is 2%. So that's pretty much it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some blur on it as well. But, you know, that's that. So hopefully um, I gave you guys a pretty good understanding of how to do it. I know it wasn't really, really in-depth, but I was trying not to make the tutorial too long. And real flow can be kind of complicated sometimes. And so, you know, for me to explain everything in great detail, this tutorial probably would have been 30 minutes or longer. And I was trying to avoid that as I am very busy and I don't think there's too many people who want to sit through a 30 minute tutorial. Um, if you guys are confused about anything, feel free to message me. Um, if you have very limited experience in real flow, you may want to check out some other tutorials on YouTube first just to help get you or just to help give you a basic understanding of the importing and the export and how all that stuff works um, in case you didn't completely understand what I was saying. So anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. And uh, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.